Okay, we're doing the vector equation of a line. Now, if vectors fills you with a sense of dread, you might want to go back and look at the AS videos from last year. Um, you'll find them under the playlist from the um, AS P1 section. All right, so moving on with the A2 work. Imagine you have these two points, we'll call them A and R, and we can talk about um, the vectors from the origin O. So to get from O to A, that gives us the position vector of A, and O to R would give us the position vector of R. Now what if we want to find the equation of the line that goes through A and R, or more specifically the vector equation? You can think about this as, as doing the equation of the line in vector terms. Um, we can do the equation of a line with no problem if we're using Cartesian coordinates, but sometimes we want to have it as vectors. So, think about um, what AR would look like as a vector. So AR would be, would go backwards along that A vector and forwards along the R one, so it'd be negative OA plus OR. And then we can rearrange that to be like this. Now, say we have our, a vector V that's going in the direction of AR, um, and then we can replace this AR with lambda V, where lambda is a constant. So we can have a multiple of that vector V to make up our AR vector. This is what's called the vector equation of the line through A and R, where A is a point on the line that we were talking about through AR, and V is a vector that gives us the direction. So we have a point and a direction, and then lambda would tell us how much of that direction we've traveled, so we can know the length of the line if we need it. Okay, so an example. We want to find the vector equation of the line that goes through the point 2, 3 with a gradient of 4 fifths. So let's draw what that looks like. Here's our point. We've got a gradient of 4 fifths, which means if you think about rise over run, it's going across by five and up by four. So our vector equation looks like this. So our point is two, three. So we put that down as a vector. And our direction is five, four. So that's the, the vector that gives us the direction of how we're moving away from that point two, three. Lambda is the constant that would tell us how far to move along that line. Okay, second example. We have the coordinates of A and B are as follows. Uh, we want to find the vector equation of AB, so the equation through the, those two coordinates. So first of all, we can think about what the vector A would look like. So the position vector of A would be 2, 3, minus 1. The position vector of B would be 1, 1, 3. And so AB would be minus 1, minus 2, 4. Our vector equation is of that form R equals A plus lambda V. So A is a position on that line. We can use either the coordinates of A or the coordinates of B. It doesn't matter. We just need one of the coordinates on that line. So I've used A here. And then it would be plus lambda multiplied by the direction that that line goes in. The direction is given by that vector AB that joins the two of them together. Okay, the second part. Does this point lie on that line AB that we just worked out the equation for? So we check whether it works. Is there a value of lambda that can make this equation work? So, looking at the top line there, we can do 2 minus lambda would have to equal 0, that gives us a lambda value of 2. The next line, 3 minus 2 lambda would have to give us minus 1, that works for lambda equals 2. So that's fine, that still is uh, keeping consistent. The last line would give us minus, four, minus 1 plus 4 lambda equals 9. Now that gives us a lambda value of 2.5, so it doesn't quite match. All three of them must be able to match to the same value of lambda and have those equations work out for the point to be on the line. So, no, that point is not on the line. Now continuing with this example, n is a point that is on that line AB such that AN is two lots of the modulus of NB. So we want to find the coordinates of N. So here's our line AB. 
n is somewhere so that the distance between a and n is twice the distance between n and b. And we have our equation of the line from what we worked out on the previous slide looks like this. Now our uh, position vector o n would be as follows, so that we have that um, equation of the line. Now n is two thirds along the way of a b, so lambda would be two thirds in this case. And then we can go through and work out what that would come to as a position vector, and then translate that into coordinates, so that we've got the coordinates of n.